I, Destiny Sidwell, am going on a book buying ban until September. <sighs> now, if you watch my videos, this may be a little jarring. It may be like, Destiny, babe, is everything okay? Because we all know that as soon as you get sad, which is very inevitable, you go and you buy books. Like, are you expecting this to be like a thing? Like, what are you doing? I don't know why I want to go to a book buying ban. I think I just kind of want to do it. Literally no reason because I'm not somebody who like can feel guilty about how many books that I own. If someone were to look at me and be like, you have too many physical copies like that you haven't read. I'd be like, girl, I'm depressed. I'm just trying to buy books. But I think it's more of like I do want to focus right now on the books that I have and I don't want to focus on buying new books all the time. So I want to test it out and do it until September. The reason that I have it until September, that's like when fall starts for me. I get very like wanting to go to bookstores all the time in the fall. So I will allow myself that. I have plenty of summer books. Like I really don't need any other summer books. I just don't really need to buy any other book. However, you are watching this video because I am gonna go book shopping because I don't think I could just like cold turkey. Is that, is that what people say? I don't know, that kind of seems weird. I can't just cold turkey not buy books. Like I can't just look at myself and be like, you're not buying any books. I have a little list on my phone of books that I've been wanting to buy. So I'm gonna go to Barnes and Target's having their buy two, get one free sale right now. So I'm gonna go to Barnes, may go to a Target. I've already been to Target. Okay, I've already participated in the sale, but I want to go to a different Target that has a bigger book section. Anyway, and I just want to do one last little hoorah before I don't do this again until September. Sue me. I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to go to Barnes. I'm going to go to Target. And also at the end, we're going to sit down and do a little collective book haul because I say collective because I also have been ordering books and keeping them in packages or even if I've opened some, I've set them to the side to do a pile for this video. So right now I'm gonna go to Barnes, but the Barnes that I'm going to is like 40 minutes away because it's a bigger Barnes, I think. Also, I never go to it. I think I've been to it like twice and it's only when I'm up at the mall that it's right by. I'm gonna go to this Barnes. What is today? It's a Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. Oh, but it's summer break. I don't know, but I'm hoping that it's not going to be packed. I'm hoping that there's not going to be a lot of traffic up that way because there's usually a ton of traffic up that way. I'm going to go to that Barnes and see, and we're going to kind of drive around to different Barnes today. We're doing a little trippy trip. I think it's like 2 o'clock. Yeah, it's almost 2 o'clock. And we're going to go, and we're going to have fun, and we're going to love it. Let's, let's head to the car. Hi. Do you guys have a moment to talk about today's sponsor, which is none other than Pear Eyewear? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. Let's get straight to the chase. I've talked about Pear multiple times on my channel, literally in vlogs and videos. You guys are always seeing me wear a pair. I get so many questions on what glasses I'm wearing in videos. What glasses are those? Where are they from? Well, literally I'm here to tell you that I am always wearing pair eyewear in all of my videos. I have a new style of glasses to show you guys today. These are the Twains, which I'm loving. I'm loving this clear base too. Do you guys want to know why? Do you guys want to know why I'm loving the clear base? Because I get to layer whatever top frame that I want. So if you guys don't know and you guys haven't heard me talk about pair before, I would genuinely be surprised. Top frames are these little things. I have a few of them to show you guys today. And basically, all you do, guys, <laughs> you guys are going to be amazed when you see this. They're magnetic. They're literally magnetic. But anyway, look, all you do, you have a few of them, right? You look at these. Basically, what you do is you pick a base frame, which is what the glasses are. You can pick a color. They have a bunch of different colors. I picked the clear ones because, like I'm about to tell you, I like switching out my top frame. Boom. All you do is just magnetically snap them on there. It's as easy as one, two, three, baby. All of these are in the twain style, by the way, because that's the style of the glasses that I'm wearing. Then we just have some plain white ones because, you know, sometimes, sometimes you're not feeling extra. I don't feel that way often. I'm, I'm often feeling extra. This is the Marvel Comics ink one. This is what they look like. They have like all of the Marvel you guys know you guys know this one is the avengers symbol which i do like to wear because again it's mixing the white one but we also have the avengers in the comic style you diet coke girlies you're gonna love this one there's literally a top frame these right here that has the diet coke can on it i like wearing these to mix it up this is me this is my personal fave which is the cherry coke which has just little cherries pink and red i love pink and red these are the pink and red cherries right here if you guys want a little bit of a closer look just the coke float which looks like this it has white and a little ombre effect that looks like a little 
um coke float literally what it's called i actually have these in the blue light ones you guys can get them in prescription or blue light whatever you guys want one of the best parts is is how just simple it is to shop with pair and how absolutely affordable they are i'm telling you guys they have the best glasses prices in the game for the quality and what you are getting you can literally go online and all you do is you just look through they have the base frames the top frames separated you can go through whatever you want there's so many different collections to choose from first of all you're going to choose your base frame like i said already these are the twins so what i did to see like which glasses that i want is that i just go on there i use their virtual try on tool i can see what the glasses are going to look like on my face to decide which one that i want and then after that i go and browse through their top frames and i look through the different collections guys they have so many things for everybody like all of your interests i they're just all there you guys know i love showing my personality through so many different things and so i like to show them through my glasses too if you guys are interested which you should be okay because pair is absolutely freaking amazing i'm literally wearing them 24 7 you guys can click the link down in my description and you guys can use the code what's desk reading 15 in all caps this way you're going to get 15 percent off your first pair you guys you guys heard that right that wasn't a mistake thank you so much pair for sponsoring today's video you guys do not get to click the link down in my description and use the promo code what's desk reading 15 in all caps to get 15 percent off your first pair and let's get into the video <sighs> it is hot in here i have to go get gas I hate getting gas. On my For You page, this happened, same exact thing happened to me last summer, but it was in July, that people keep on playing the little Halloween, fall, TikTok audios, and like, people are already decorating for fall in June. Listen, fall, I think is my favorite season, but it's June. Like, 4th of July hasn't even passed yet. Like, we haven't made it to Labor Day. Like, let's just chill, guys. Listen, I love I love fall and Halloween and all that as much as the next gal. And love going to Home Goods, getting, I don't like getting pumpkin spice lattes. That's a lie. I am going right now. Need to get gas. I have my Stanley with me. But yeah, I just need to let you guys know that. I should just get gas here. I should just not be lazy. And I should just go get gas here. That is what I should do. Oh, this is the gas station's packed. Someone just, okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's too many people here. This is a nice, no, I'm gonna go, but I hate that gas station. We made it to Barnes. I will say I did not get gas. I went to two different gas stations and they were all packed to the brim. And then I just started actually freaking out and I just got on the highway. We're here. Let's go in and do this. I don't know if I can record me here. I didn't think this through being about myself. I feel it now. I feel the anxiety now. More and more people are going in. turn the air on oh my god this is like kind of ridiculous listen i knew i was in trouble when as soon as i went in there i was just kind of flabbergasted by like how big this barns is i've never actually like browsed around this one as you can see i have two big bags of books oh, went a little crazy that's that's something that happened in there. I knew I was in trouble when I walked in and I went to the young adult section and they had just like big tables filled with books. Like this Barnes has so many books. Like every single book that you could possibly need or want is at this Barnes. It was just a very good experience. Let's see 
how close a target is. Oh, there's one in 1.8 miles. Let's see what this target has in store. I cannot believe I just went that ham and actually yes I can. Who am I kidding? Really who am I lying to? I can't believe I just went that whatever and bar yes you can. You would have went more feral if you allowed yourself. I started capping myself a little bit but not a lot obviously. Anyway I'm kind of hungry. Maybe this whole why did I do this video? I went into Target and it was a successful trip I guess like I didn't need to go in there so I guess it was successful because I bought things I don't know what it has been about the last two times that I've been inside of a target that I just had men have weird behavior I was in target little story time little story time and I was in the book section and like I don't know if every target's like this but it's like the book section music dvds like the pop figures and everything like that like all of that's kind of in the same place so i'm sitting there and i'm like looking and this guy is kind of like walking around and i don't have my airpods in of course because usually i put my airpods in and then if i hear somebody try to talk to me and i can tell they're being just you know weird i will just ignore them i know when someone's being weird and when they're genuinely just trying to like ask me something or along those lines he's like acting very like erratically and it was just weird he was just giving me like a weird vibe like my spidey senses were going off i'm sitting there and then he just like goes to go into an aisle and then he pops his head back out and then i see him out of the corner of my eye and i'm like not making eye contact because it just feels weird and then he's like i like your sweater and I just say, thank you. Like I say it like that, I'm like, oh, thank you. Like, you know, maybe he just really did like my sweater. Like, you know, I was just like, thanks. He then proceeds to like walk down the aisle. That's like, just, we're just separated by like not even a tall aisle. Like you guys know how the book aisles are. And he proceeds to go, people are so weird now. Like he's just talking, like not talking to anybody, not talking to me specifically, but talking just out there. He's like, people are so weird nowadays. I always think that you're hitting on them. Blah, 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 blah. Starts like going off. And I'm like, I, sir, like I said, thank you. Like I didn't even sit there and go, thanks, like, or not reply. I was like, thank you. Like I was like, that's nice, you know, like maybe he just did like my sweater. Maybe my sweater caught him off guard. Um, it is a cute sweater. It's from Target. So, and he just starts going off. Just starts going off. So then I put my AirPods in because I was like, if he tries to, uh, come to me again i'm just gonna act like i can't hear him even though my airpods don't even work he doesn't know that i'm just gonna act like i can't hear him he just kept on and then i just walked away that little story time over with i just got these markers the click art by zebra because they're the people that make midliners i'm pretty sure and the other non book related item i got was this so i was looking i actually went into the book section because i was also looking for pops because obviously you guys know the new spider-man spider-verse movie came out and obviously like every time something like that comes out like the pops come out with it i was looking for the um, Miguel O'Hara one um, they didn't have it they had this one which I thought was so cool it comes in like a plastic case outside of like the actual box and it's like a little comic and it has her right here I just thought that this would look cool to display yeah uh, this is a book shopping video like why am I talking so much I don't know but I'm kind of over going to Target because the last two times that I've been here it's just I've walked away with a negative experience not because of the employees it's because of men you know what though I'm not gonna let men ruin Target <laughs> You with a dog, girls, you with one. Hey, funny to see you guys here. <laughs> I'm so funny. Anyway, and welcome to the portion of the video that I'm sure that you guys have been waiting for since you clicked on the video. Oh, yep, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, I'm here. Tell the fans that Charlie's arrived. Welcome officially to the haul portion of today's video. I know you guys are all like, girl can you get to it and i'm like yes so i have these two boxes but don't be fooled this is not like a box full of books i actually had to order some like acrylic organizers so that's not just like filled to the room with books we also have the bags from yesterday and then i have some amazon packages up there along with just like books that i have just bought or like already unboxed so i am going to start i'm gonna separate them into like their own little subcategories first of all i know that i've talked about the, these copies but i just have to talk about them again i think you can literally see me talk about these and not only sarah's video maybe even Haley's video and my video i've talked about these two copies that i got of frankenstein and dracula these are from penguin house i don't know if they're doing this with more but these 
are just perfect. I want to turn one of these little shelves into just a full-on classic shelf, and I really want to display these and find a cool way to display them, especially during the fall time. Like, I can't wait for fall so I can display these. What I'm going to start off with is that I went multiple times to the Target buy two, get one free sale, which I know Amazon was, like, doing a same, like the same type of thing, and I posted about the Amazon one, but the thing with the Amazon one is I think they were choosing, like, specific books to do that with which just sucks like just don't do that don't do a sale like that and then be like but here are the ones that we pick make it all of them so i went to target because it was all of them i think it was like books movies and games i think which is honestly really like a really good deal of course for the book lovers like me i'll talk to you guys about the three that i got yesterday the other ones that i got is actually in a week of my life vlog that's coming out so if you want to watch me get those even though i don't even think i really vlogged those so that's coming out in a vlog but anyway these are the three that i got yesterday so random literally the most like random little three book stack that you've ever seen in your life can i first preface that i literally made a list to go into not only barnes but target with and i was kind of like just buy the books that are on this list you're gonna quickly see that i just ch chucked that out of the window <laughs> that was a good thought and sentiment desk but we're not doing that i never put this on a list to buy books but this is a book this is where this target sales got me and you'll see because i'll say this with other books when target specifically has this sale i kind of start to look at the books that i've always like looked at when i go to target but i'm like i'm not paying full price for that not even 20 percent off but now that it's 20 percent off and it's buy two get one free i'll buy it and i've just heard exquisite things about it and i just want to start reading like books that i feel like will make me smart then I got There's Someone Inside Your House. This is not the same author as Anne and the French Kiss. That is wild to me. Somehow I have just never bought this. I think I read this when I was in high school. I read this in my senior year of high school, which I graduated in 2021 for reference. Hasn't been that long. I loved this because if you guys know me, I've said multiple times on my channel how I love slasher films. Like I love scary movies, but my favorite scary movies to watch are slasher films. And this book felt like reading a slasher film let's not even talk about this first of all that i'm disappointed that this is a permanent thing on this book but second of all how disappointed i am in the movie that came out of this i would literally even go as far as to say don't watch the movie please 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 read the book if that is something that interests you like a thriller slasher vibe read this it's ya so it's not like too much but honestly even for ya the stuff that's described in this book i was a little bit like wow Okay, <laughs> and then the third book that I got in the little installment. We're gonna do these in threes. We're gonna do them in threes because you know it's probably to get one free. Anyway, finally mine, which I don't know, is this like I'm gonna have to look it up. Is this like in the series with Pretend Your Mind? Because it's like Pretend Your Mind, Finally Mine, but I think it's like two different couples, but the covers have like the same exact vibe. The reasoning behind this is that I have just been slowly but surely, like whenever Lucy Score and Bloom have been releasing new of covers. I'm not making any sense. New covers of her old books, I've just been buying them. I think this one's another fake dating one, but so is the other one that's pretend your mind is fake dating and this one's fake dating, I think. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just simply, where did I get that information from? That's kind of scary that I full on just convinced myself that this was fake dating and it wasn't. Never underestimate your power, guys. Do you guys wanna know what's funny? This is actually kind of hilarious. I go to Target so much. I just wanna preface because we're still in the Target portion of the haul. I, before I like went, um, in my vlog, I went another time and then saw that they were doing the buy two get one free and I did I don't even think like I cognitively Put that information away in my brain because then I was surprised when I saw it again So then I got these three books So first of all, I got the paperback of Carrie Soto is back purely for the reasoning because I needed a third book And I was like, oh this paperback's out and I really enjoy this. It was a 4.75 star I literally got that though because I got these two books by Rebecca Yaros because she wrote fourth wing and if she can create that and create the man that came out of that book, I have a strong, very, very strong feeling that I could like her other books. Great and Precious Things and The Last Letter, which I think both of these talk about military men. I don't know, but this one says ass seen on TikTok. I haven't seen it on TikTok yet, but maybe I'll find it after this. You guys know how the phones work. <laughs> I think the rest of these are the ones that I got in my Week in the Life vlog. First of all, finally got you rich. So reached. <laughs> ah, I don't even know what's going on right now. You've reached Sam. I have not read or bought until now. 
and I've been thinking about saving and accumulating some books to, to do another like reading sad books video but when I'm mentally more well and emotionally can take it we'll put that in a video somehow my emotional turmoil has to be worth something and then I got red white and royal blue I think this some Penelope Douglas books and there's like a few other books that are like OG 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 book talk books that I have never read before okay there's just a select a select few I saw like the teaser of like the show is it a show or is it a movie I'm literally so out of the loop show or movie that's coming out of this on Amazon Prime and then Sarah read this the other day and she said that it was good so I have high hopes and then so again I was like I need a third book, I need a third book. So naturally I got Paris Hilton's memoir because um, I, funny enough I got this and then I saw Jack Edwards do a video and I think he said like rich people bad writing or something along those lines. Oh, I'm just gonna like talk about these. I bought like all of the Bridgerton books except there's a few missing, but you just wait. Can you guess why I said that? Can you guess? Anyway, so I want to make a video just of me reading the Bridgerton books, especially before season three comes out. How out of the loop do I feel when I see people talking about Bridgerton? And I watched the first season. I didn't ever like continue on because you guys know, if you guys know me, that I do not watch something without reading the book first if there's a book. So I did not know when like the first season came out and I was watching it and was that in quarantine? I literally can't remember that it was a book and then I found out it was a book and I like, didn't like watch any of the other seasons. But you know, TikTok's a thing so I basically got everything spoiled for me. So I have bought the Bridgerton series because I want to fully read the whole entire series and see what I think about it because I've also I've also never read like this time period like of a romance before so I'm very intrigued so we have the Duke and I which oh this is the TV show cover I did not know okay so we have the TV show cover randomly and then I don't know the order so don't yell at me but we have to Sir Philip with love an offer from a gentleman romancing mr bridgerton which is penelope and colin oh so this is who season three is about but those you know um yeah <laughs> me describing things those up uh, yeah and then i bit the bullet because again of the sale and i bought the tv adaptations and listen i know i just complained that that one's a tv adaptation but there's something about these guys tell me that these covers don't just do something to your brain those are all of the books that i bought from the target sale so now <laughs> oh man we can talk about the not one but two bags of books that i bought from barnes and noble okay guys i don't know if you guys recall i think it was like a vlog a while ago that I did, but I talked about going into Barnes and finding this journal that had like really good paper quality. And I was like, ooh, I really wanted to buy it, but it was like, I'm not buying that journal. Well, um, Bestie Haley does a reading journal and we talked about this when I saw her and then I slid up on her story and I was like, oh yeah, um, like talking about her doing her reading journal and she's like, you need to do it. So this is sponsored by Haley because I literally got this journal and just like the way that the pages just so easily just like lay themselves out and just the spine of the book and it's very neutral it gives me reading journal vibes like i can't wait to just do stuff in this book again i walked into barnes and noble and i was like okay plan of action get these books i got those books and then i got more first of all we have the leaving this is a young adult book and i'm pretty sure it's like six people went missing five of them come back but they like don't remember anything that happened or like even remember being missing and this was just one of those books that like the cover there's something so eerie about like an abandoned playground set do you guys know what i mean stick with me here like and especially the abandoned swing set and like when one's missing so it caught my eye and then the premise was very interesting so i'm very interested to see so it says 11 years ago six kindergartners went missing without a trace oh okay me learning more about the book i'm like oh this sounds cool sorry for the abrupt angle change i forgot that as a youtuber you're supposed to take thumbnails and i wanted to do it before everything gets a little wacky sue me i don't know also little dog update charlie is just sitting right here right now i don't know what it was about me just like finding books that i've been thinking about for a while and just picking them up but ready player one again another adult sci-fi book that i've never watched the movie because i knew it was a book and i'm telling you guys it's instilled in me to just wait even if it's years i'll wait until i one day 
we'll read the book. Next, I got Renegades by Marissa Meyer because this is actually one of the books that I, like me and Sarah did a video and I got this book for her and I wanted her to read it because I wanted to know what she thought about it and then she told me that she liked it and I love superheroes and this is basically what like this little series is about and I've seen a few TikToks like kind of about this series. I bought all three. Is there only three books in the dark art of artifices are there just three in here i don't know but the third one's in the other bag i just don't feel like searching for it right now but i bought all three and i think it's because when i see cassandra's claire books they're so hypnotizingly beautiful that i just want all of them so then i bought these i don't even know like how this fits with the whole entire it's a shadow hunters novel so it's kind of like all in that same realm i'm guessing i don't know rachel Catherine, which this is also sponsored by her this haul is sponsored by larry Haley. Sarah and Rachel literally I know Rachel loves reading Cassandra Clare so she would have to explain this to me how all of these kind of interconnect um but I am excited to one day actually start reading her books I have so many literally I have the mortal instruments and the infernal devices I have the three books in the mortal instruments series three books in the infernal devices and now I have all three in this one and I've read one of them and then I got vengeful which is like the like second it's not like I don't want to say it's the second book I guess it is the second book there's vicious and vengeful and I read vicious this month and really liked it and so I'm very interested to see where vengeful takes a turn and then I got red rising because this is like the third adult sci-fi book that I have in this haul which is very just interesting moved it she was she's literally i need to take a picture she's literally just staring at herself in the mirror literally just staring at herself in the mirror this book Haley was reading when we were in jersey and she ended up saying that this was like a six star book for her and whenever one of my good friends are really raving about a book i find it to be my responsibility to read it and tell them whether or not i liked it next up we have see you yesterday by rachel lynn solomon but this is like a kind of like a groundhog's day trope and I guess I didn't really realize this. It's like she relives September 21st again every single day. The last book in this bag that I am very excited to read is Love Theoretically by Allie. Allie? Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. Listen and listen to me. I know people are like, all of her books are the same and they're not even good and they are like whatever Wattpad. Listen, I eat these books up. I eat them up. And these, this is an academic rivals to lovers. Excuse me excuse me for the however many hours that it takes me to read this i love her books second bag again sponsored by Haley. we have the grace here she was telling me and sarah about this book when we were in jersey and i just became so intrigued with this like plot and then i saw rich Catherine start talking about it and when somebody describes something as a little like dark sinister or twisted i just want to read it i want to read it does it put me in the best like mental headspace no but i still enjoy it whenever i sit for like long periods of time i always feel like i hyper extended a knee anyway stinger by mia sheridan and i haven't read a mia sheridan book since i read oh what book was that called oh most of all you and i didn't like that book and that was when she was with forever publishing now she's with bloom i've been seeing people talk more about mia sheridan books and this is like a plot i think that i could get with i don't know i kind of just saw this and like wanted to read it because it was very pretty <laughs> me with like everything i don't know okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys i got this book because i bought this book and they were both buy one get one fifty and i had to find another book that was buy one get one fifty so i bought this one and it's a flicker in the dark and this is the like thriller mystery thriller that is like her dad back in the day was like a serial killer i think now like in the present day she's a psychologist and she notices that these girls are going missing in like the same manner that they did when like her dad did it but her dad's in prison so like he can't be doing it but i've seen people talk about that and that was always interesting to me and since i needed another book for the buy one get one fifty i got picked up this one the humans by matt haig and i actually read the midnight library by him and really liked it and i think i don't really know what this one's about honestly but it's called the humans and i see some of them having dogs i think this is the third one yeah the third oh my gosh queen of air and darkness that is a big 
Next book we have Saturday Night at the Lakeside Supper Club. This is one of those books that I went into Barnes so many times and looked at and I've been like, next time I go to Barnes, I'm gonna buy that, you know? This is a literary fiction book and I just thought that it was such a cute little read in that it would be cute for the summer and it's like a different little vibe and it seems like it would just be retro. And then we have My Magnolia Summer. Just look at this. This is another literary fiction that takes place like with a bunch of like different women in the same family. And when you look at this, I just feel like it screams summer. Can somebody tell me why I cannot find the fourth book in this series anywhere? I looked at it on Amazon. I looked at it in Barnes and nobody has the fourth book. This is the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, who is the author of the Inheritance Games. And can someone tell me where these books were at because every single time that I go into Barnes, I never see these at my Barnes, by the way, ever. And no one was talking about them and then I saw Larry start talking about them and then I saw like a bunch of people sign up on my story and they were like, I love the natural series, like please read it and let everybody, like, I've never seen anybody talk about the series, but I have high hopes, I don't even know what it's about. Bad Blood, I can't find that book anywhere and now I'm on a book buying ban. Anyway, so we have The Naturals, Killer Instincts, and then All In. Those are all of the ones from Barnes. So now we're going to quickly go through the Amazon ones because I, uh, my camera battery's going to die. So why did I, oh, because I wanted to take a thumbnail. That's why you stacked all of these. First of all, I want to talk about these because I think most of these are book mail that I got sent from you guys. So first of all, we have The Bribe the bribe by Debney Perry which again I've seen Rachel Catherine talk about this series and this is from Kirsten I hope I'm saying your name right and she sent me this and thank you so much that is so sweet and I cannot wait to get into this because again Rachel's talked about this and she likes it so I feel like I'll like it oh I bought this one same time next summer um Nora goes off script I know Haley read that last summer I never read it but then I looked at this one and I just wanted it and then I'm pretty sure the same person sent me these two books so Brianna sent me a night a light in the flame which is a flesh and fire book i don't know which one in the series it is because i do have some of the flesh and fire novels i think and then we have stolen by a sinner which i think is by her yes by her as well not by her from her she didn't write these books oh wow every single time that i see this i'm like the text is so big so big in this book which i love it actually kind of does something to my brain and then we have my dark romeo which i got sent to by brandy robinson so thank you so much to brandy for sending me this let's open some packages i think i know which book this is and if i know i'm excited <gasps> yes okay so i bought done and dusted because i saw this cover um, a few places and I just love this cover like this cover does something to my brain and it's so funny because I was waiting today to film the haul and Larry started talking about this and I was like okay I feel like if Larry loves it I'm gonna like it another book that I want to read right now so I know it's in this package uh-huh reckless by Elsie Silver I cannot wait to read this book even though I have got that spoil for me I know something big that happens in this book because people on TikTok don't know how to put spoiler warnings or anything did I not bring scissors over here I swear bro oh yeah they are they're behind you babe I'm trying to do this fast I probably should have just been doing it fast from the beginning so funny because I almost bought this at Barnes yesterday because I've been seeing people talk about this. So this is by Rebecca Ross and this is Divine Rivals and I'm pretty sure it's like an enemies to lovers fantasy and I just eat that up. And then we have On the Way to the Wedding. I don't know which one in the Bridgerton series this is but it's in the Bridgerton series. What? I'm so excited for this one. I have not been excited for a thriller in such a long time but the premise of this also i got lucky and i found a large print it is the large print edition but i really love how floppy this is and listen i love the large print it does something to my brain when the font is big but this is the last word by taylor adams and i read no exit by her i've never watched that movie though i forgot that got turned into a movie but this is about like so somebody like leaves like a one star review or something on like an author's book and the author like basically starts like stalking them and then i and then I bought Some Shall Break, which is the sequel to Nuns Shall Sleep. And I read this my senior year of high school. Well, no, I think it's my junior year of high school, actually. Wow. Wow. I read the Nuns Shall Sleep my junior year of high school and really liked it. And I did not know that they were coming out with the second book. And I always, from time to time, like, wondered, like, where that story would go. 
and now she's continuing it okay again this is not like a bunch of books i think i have like my acrylic organizers in here first of all we have emma on 83rd street and this i think is about like a girl who like lives rich and it's like her and her childhood friend then we have the inmate by frida mcfadden i read the housemaid by frida mcfadden and really liked it and then i've just been i keep on seeing people talk about her books and talk about this one so i bought this one who am i buying a bunch of thrillers and then like never reading them oh why is this so offsetting to me no this is so offsetting Oh my gosh, it said that it was one of these covers. So we have When He Was Wicked. It's in his kiss, Anthony. So this is season two, right? Guys, can you imagine me reading this in front of my family? This is like the stereotypical, like, back in the day, your grandma's reading these and you didn't know what it was. And now you do. Wait, but why is this kind of like a sleigh? Like me like holding this right now and reading it like this? Anyway guys, that is my whole entire haul. We are not doing another one of these, not even in my vlogs until September. So I hope you guys enjoyed it because it's done, it's over. That's all that you get until September. Who knows if I'll make it till then, but me publicly stating this so loud and proud tells me that I will. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, hopefully you did. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that you guys know how to do. And hopefully I'll see you guys when I see you because you'll come back, you know, anyway. Okay. All right. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.